Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Tesla faces challenges with sales slowdown in China and price cuts in the U.S. Chevron's interest in Occidental Petroleum fades. Bristol-Myers Squibb acquires Marathi Therapeutics for $4.8 billion. Federal Reserve Chair Powell's journey to becoming an Instagram influencer. Birkenstock IPO likely to price at top end of range. Sanofi eyes potential acquisition of Marathi as FDA considers fate of Amgen drug. HP analyst meeting to cover guidance, PC recovery, and more. Stay tuned after the short ad break for all the details. Tesla's sales growth in China experienced a decline, with a 10.9% decrease in September compared to the same month last year. Bank of America suggests that Tesla's recent price reductions on its Model 3 and Model Y vehicles have raised concerns regarding demand in the United States. The company has been adjusting prices based on market conditions, leading some investors to question if there is a waning demand for Tesla vehicles. Nevertheless, Tesla continues to be a pioneer in the electric vehicle market. Year-to-date, shares of Tesla have increased by 3.4%. Chevron's interest in acquiring Occidental Petroleum has waned, and the company is now exploring alternative smaller targets. The CEO of Chevron, Mike Wirth, is reportedly seeking a significant deal before retiring. One potential option in the Permian Basin is Crown Rock, which is currently seeking a sale price ranging from $10 to $15 billion. ConocoPhillips is also considering deals within the shale patch. ExxonMobil is rumored to be nearing a potential $60 billion deal to acquire Pioneer Natural Resources, resulting in an increase in share prices for both companies. This surge in mergers and acquisitions activity can be attributed to favorable oil prices and concerns regarding a possible global economic downturn. Furthermore, other Permian producers such as Permian Resources, Diamondback Energy, Cotera Energy, and Devon Energy also experienced gains in their shares on Friday. Analysts believe that premium assets within the Permian Basin are highly sought after by prospective buyers. Bristol-Myers Squibb plans to purchase Marathi Therapeutics, a cancer drug manufacturer, for $4.8 billion. Shareholders of Marathi will receive $58 per share in cash, as well as a contingent value right that could be valued at $12 per share. This acquisition follows a 45% surge in Marathi's shares after reports of Sanofi considering a takeover. The transaction is anticipated to be finalized in the first half of next year and will enhance Bristol-Myers' oncology portfolio. The Federal Reserve's communication policy has undergone changes over time. Initially, policy actions were communicated annually, but since 1979, economic projections have been disclosed twice a year. In 1993, meeting minutes were released, followed by statements on the overnight federal funds rate in 1994. Transcripts of meetings were issued with a delay in 1995. The release of minutes was then reduced to three weeks after each meeting in 2004. In 2007, economic projections started being released four times a year. Press conferences began in 2011 and the Fed launched its Twitter account in 2012. In January 2019, post-meeting press conferences increased to eight times a year and now the Fed has joined Instagram and threads as part of Meta starting October 2023. German sandal maker Birkenstock Holding is expected to price its initial public offering at the high end of its range, valuing the company at approximately $10 billion. This IPO aims to raise $1.58 billion for Birkenstock, positioning it as the third-largest footwear company globally, trailing behind Nike and Decker's outdoor group. Despite recent instances of IPOs losing value post-public listing, Birkenstock remains committed to proceeding with its listing on the New York Stock Exchange. Notably, LVMH Moat Hennessy Louis Vuitton supports Birkenstock as a backer, and the company plans to trade under the ticker symbol Birk. The FDA is currently reviewing Amgen's lung cancer drug Lamacris, and there is uncertainty regarding its approval status. Sanofi has expressed interest in acquiring Marathi, a company that has developed a competing product named Krizati. Analysts have differing opinions on the future of Lamacris, with some suggesting it may be withdrawn from the market while others believe it will continue to be used as a second-line treatment. 
Following the FDA vote and news of Sanofi's potential takeover, Marathi's shares experienced a significant increase. The decision regarding Lamacras is anticipated to be announced before the end of December. HP Securities Analyst Meeting on October 10th will cover several key topics. These include Commodity Price Stabilization, 2024 Guidance, PC Recovery Expectations, Print Margins, Subscription Metrics, and Growth Opportunities in High Growth Markets. It is worth noting that Berkshire Hathaway has recently reduced its position in HP. Currently, the stock has received three strong buy ratings. However, shares have experienced a 3% decline year to date. Thanks for tuning in to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay inspired, and we'll catch you next time. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until tomorrow, farewell. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. Check out our other podcasts in our network at ClassicStudios.com.